<laughs> hey, Zach, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, congratulations, uh, mate. Big win and game 150. What an achievement. Yeah, it was nice to get uh, get the win on the road. These wins are, are uh, pretty special when you get them. And against quality outfits like Port Adelaide, you, you bank them and move on. Zach, as a defensive unit tonight, particularly your back six, you've got to be proud of what you're doing at the moment. You're obviously down in size down there, but just your organisation was outstanding. Yeah, obviously we've got a few um, senior experience guys missing and uh, a few young guys in. And There's going to be some teething issues. These guys are going to make mistakes and, and we understand that. But when you can grow leadership as quickly as it's been grown in guys like Jack Henry and, and those types, um, yeah, this is what's going to happen. They're going to, they're going to step up when they're given the opportunity. Hey, uh, Zach, talk us through it. was like running out with your four-year-old boy, young Flynn. We've got a bit of vision here. How'd you go with the young fella? What a moment for him. Yeah, that's great. I haven't seen that yet. That's nice. Um, yeah, I remember bringing him out in my. Oh, that's great. I remember bringing him out in my um, in my hundredth game, and obviously he was a lot smaller, but it's still one of my you know kind of best memories on field. But that's that's special. And uh, Zach, did you meet an Australian girl in your time out here, or is it an Irish girl that came out with you? Nah, nah, she's a Bendigo girl. Yep. So I um, met her out here. So she's a she's a very lucky woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a great story, I mean, to come out from Ireland, and you probably don't know how long it's going to last when you first get here. To get to 150 games, uh, you probably didn't dream of that, did you? Yeah, it's funny. I've said this week in an interview that, because um, I played with Satanto Halpin when I first yeah. came out, and I remember him telling me, he was obviously played 70 or 80 games, and he used to tell me if he could get to 100, he reckon, you know, you've had a pretty good career yeah. for an Irish guy. So, yeah, I've for just anyone, kind of, for anyone. Yeah, yeah, and um, so it's just kind of been ticking him off, and yeah, 150s. It's, it's, it's relatively modest in the grand scheme of things, but um, yeah, I'm quite proud. You married a Bendigo girl, you've played 150 games of AFL football. Is uh, life in Australia permanently now, or are you going to drag the family back over Ireland one day? Yeah, I haven't married her yet, so I don't need you to okay. pressure on me as well, all right? I'm getting <laughs> sorry, it from all the Sorry, sorry, about that. Yeah. Yeah. sorry <laughs> Zach. Fair <laughs> time, I can there, see the beautiful uh, partner over up. there. He's um, the little man, he's <laughs> over there. Um, any about. danger, Zach? What are you doing? Yeah, mate? yeah, yeah, pressure. Um, <laughs> Now, nah, look, the truth is um, I am pretty settled here now and I've always said I would move back to Ireland. She's certainly open to moving back to Ireland. She loves it there, but, um, yeah, it's pretty good here. I'm not sure I can leave. <laughs> Any more Irish boys over there that we can see in Australian rules footy? Because you make a great transition, don't you, you guys? Yeah, I guess it's a similar skill set. And, um, you know, a lot, a lot of guys come over and spend a couple of years and leave. But for what you're giving up, um, it's probably worth the risk. And yeah. yeah, I'm obviously a big advocate for it. Not every Irish person is, but, yeah, um, yeah there's definitely a lot of talent that could make it. There's your beautiful partner, uh, Zach. Wouldn't uh, Man. Would be a bad thing, mate. Smile. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> just <giving> a... <laughs> and there's young Flynn. He's had a big, uh, a big day today, and we'll make sure we get those uh, pictures to uh, to you, Zach. Is there a camaraderie between you and uh, and the Irish guys? If a new lad comes over, do you find you go over and make an extra special effort? Yeah, there is. I mean, all the young guys now. There's a there's a group of Irish guys here, all around the same age, a little bit younger than me, but um, I know they all keep in touch and. Um, as soon as one comes out, I try my best to reach out and let them know that if there is anything I can do, I'm always here for them. And um, yeah, it's nice to nice to see those younger guys coming out that guys like myself and Pierce can can try and talk to. And we saw Ty Keneally go back at uh, the end of uh, his playing career, and he wanted to have the dream and go back and win an All Ireland final. Is there some thought with you that you'd like to fulfil that as well? Or? Well, yeah, I'd certainly love to go back and play from my county. You play with where you're from, and unfortunately for me, that where I'm from is a pretty small part of the country. And I'm not sure I see us winning all Ireland's anytime soon, but I, I do want to go back and, uh, and play at the top level for my county, yeah. Zach, it's a great achievement, 150 well games of AFL football. You've done it in fine style, and I think 120 of them in a row, mate. You're as resilient as they come. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't go inside and get the hardball. So, <laughs> so um, nah, touch wood, I've, I've been pretty lucky and had some good physios. Great to see you. Thanks, Zach. Thanks, well guys. done. We're going to go from Zach to a year.